Okay, now this is for that old Kevlock. He's uh, driving me insane with his really bad. <laughs> yeah, that's what Rex thinks of it. All right, I've also had people say, why don't you make more of, uh, you know, personalized videos of your dogs, like a lot of people do, since I have a lot of dogs. Well, this is the jungle dog, the best looking dog in the world, Rex Sikau, as he's known in Thai. And uh, here he is in his in his room where he gets to de-stress from the other guys because they won't leave him alone because he's the he's the number one he's the number one dog here. Every nobody messes with him because uh, he can he hey unlike uh, those sumo dogs that uh, the old Kevlock has the this guy can fight he doesn't like to doesn't want to but he's been in real fights and he, he's an extremely fast and he's got very good moves I've seen him make other dogs miss and he's got them in like two seconds but anyway and he's taught some of the other dogs some good moves actually yeah uh, none of the, none of that bad BJJ rolling that the sumo chihuahuas are doing out there in uh, where that suburb that in Orange County that the old Kevlock lives in but uh, so there's there's my number one this is my number one dog he's been over 19,500 miles with me we've spent a lot of time together uh, from the jungle to here yes we have yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna show you some of my other dogs. It's gonna take a little, <laughs> a little walk around here. Okay, so I'm out here in the hallway. <sighs> you know, really, there's a light on there. There's my mastiff. Now this guy will rip old Kevlock's arm right off his body. Yeah, he doesn't mess around. Oh, and there's my, this guy's incredible. My One of my mom curs right there. And there's Keese. She is a supermodel. She and Rex are my models. She's doing pretty well. Can't see, but her eyes are very blue. She's a Siberian Husky and German Shepherd mix, mainly uh, Siberian Husky, I had her DNA done. She's over 65% Siberian Husky. Oh, there he is. There he is, Akuma. He is a big dog. Now, he's a very big dog. This guy, he's a one, he's a one person dog. He will, he, this guy grabbed onto me when I met him at the pound when he was much younger, several months ago. He's just a little, what is he, about 13 months old now? And, uh, he wouldn't let go, so I had to take him. <laughs> I'm gonna leave him behind. And this guy, this guy's incredible. Oh, he's tiger striped. Can't see that in here in the in this coloring. He looks a lot like my other mountain cur. But this guy, oh, he's a, this guy. I have a bond with all all of my dogs, but this guy has a bond with one human, me. Some of these other guys get along with other with people, but this guy doesn't. It's just me. Yeah, he's incredible. And uh, he can do some stuff. It's, uh, uh, I've trained a lot of dogs and it is, it is uh, much more difficult than say this my super dog to train this guy. He's really, I haven't run his DNA, but I'm gonna say from, because he's getting bigger. He's also not looking so, uh, Strange in a way because he's growing into his body, but I would say this is Mastiff American Bulldog mix. Is uh, he's getting big, and uh, <laughs> he's a good dog. Okay, so now I'm outside, and uh, this is my American Akita six she's an incredible athlete she and and uh, Zarathustra are my super dogs this is she could do a lot of stuff she's being pretty calm right now six what are you doing baby 
But he's doing six. <laughs> what that? She's picky. She's in a rest period. Right now. She's watching somebody. She likes squirrels. She goes crazy when there's squirrels in the trees out here. Yep. Oh. I'm at a sort of a temporary place, so I don't have kennels set up like I should. She's she's sort of on the sled dog state. She wants to come inside, but she's okay inside. She's inside with. I'll show the old Kevlock some actual movement with this with her and and Zarathustra. Yeah, she's good. She's uh, like a like an Akita, uh, American Akita. There's different than the Japanese Akitas, and uh, you have to know the training is different. You have to be used to. They have different things that they do and how they act, like that, like that. That's typical for them. She's not really doing any harm, but Akitas like to use their mouth a lot more than other dogs. So she'll like grab onto my hand with her mouth. You have to know that this isn't a Labrador. Oh, she likes to be around me. Yeah, I spend a lot more time with my dogs than most people ever do. And that's why I'm able to rehab. Oh, she's a big dog, see? Look at that there, Kevlock. Your dog is not, you don't have anything this big. Yep, she's a, she's a, uh, yeah, but back to the thing, it's one of the reasons why I'm able to rescue or rehabilitate or whatever you want to call it, dogs other people give up on and mark for death is because of the, my ability to spend time with them and slowly change things for them. And that uh, she was very difficult to begin with. But yeah, nobody wanted her. No, nobody wanted her. She is a super athlete, too. I'm not kidding. And she's a very hardy dog, too. Anyway, let's go take a look at some of my other guys. Okay, here's my other mountain cur. It's Gilgamesh. <laughs> he's happy I'm here. And he's very good. He's very good outside. Uh, he, this guy is a massive... He won't let anybody come around here without notifying me, which is good. Yeah, he missed me. Yeah, he missed me. You have a lot of people, I don't want the dog to get on me. It, it depends on how he does it. But yeah, you got Mount Kerr, Mount Kerr. Look at that, he's, he's pretty, uh, he's up to, uh, this guy in pounds is 54.8, because I, I, I had him weighed. We were at the vet not too long ago. He had to get his rabies shot. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Uh, yeah, you can hear my guys in the back. They're getting, they don't like to be ignored. Oh, Gil. Gil, he could do a, a lot of things too. Uh, they're pretty, he's pretty athletic. Okay, Gil, I gotta go check out the other guys. I go get a good super dog. And there is Lakai, who is hanging out. He's been feisty lately. He wants to. He wants to. Uh, do a lot of rough housing with the other dogs lately. He didn't used to do that as much. If you hear that, that's the super dog. He's across the back over here. Yeah. The guy's a great dog too. Very sensitive. He's good, he's good at learning things, do a bunch of things, but he's very sensitive. All right, let's go over here and take a 
Look at the old super dog. Now, the old Kevlar couldn't handle this dog. It's high tempo. Not a lot of people can handle Malinois and Dutch Shepherd. This is a KMPV, so this is not the little, whatever. This guy's dad is, is famous, a legend, and uh, he is, uh, yeah, he can do all sorts of stuff, as you know. He's going to set a world record. Not going to tell you on what, but he's already clearly on the way. We're going to be doing that. Here's my super dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these dogs are not for everybody because the tempo's too high. And you got to have a lot of things. Now he's... I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him and we're going to go inside. See the old Kevlar can get ready to see him. He's, he wants some water. Give him some water. Now, uh, the old Kevlock out there and his little, his little, uh, what, I don't even know what to call his area that he lives in, his little, little protected suburb area. Well, we're out here in a national forest. And uh, anyway, his little uh, slow motion sumo dogs don't uh, anteater and a chihuahua and the slinky dog. Uh, they no way act like this. Come on. Now, here we go. We're going to get this. Here we're going to see some action going on here in a second here, old Kevlock. You ready? Number one, the old Kevlock doesn't have this many dogs. We got some... Yeah, he wants some water, like I said. He wants some water. You want the water there, right? Huh? Yep. Hey! Vic, why are you drinking water? You were inside. Oh, look at, there she is. Look at that beautiful dog. There's my keys. There's my keys. There's my beautiful dog. Oh, yeah, Cavalock. It's what a beautiful dog looks like. Not those shaved hamsters you got going on there. Uh, I know you want some, got to get a uh, super dog some new water, colder water. It's looking at me. And there you go. See now, there's the top dog canine team right here. Most of them, right there. Look at that beautiful dog, Keith. And there's my super dog. There you go. And there's my my Akuma. He's. Hey, you want to do something there, Vic? You want to? Oh, I can't see him. I I don't have. I'm. Oh, he's, the Mastiff tries to impress me by learning moves the other dogs do, which is very, very good, actually. But, well, okay, there you go. I give you that because I, not, I don't really want him to do that. I, I'm just doing this trick move with, with uh, Victor because uh, people say, can you do trick dog training? Yeah, I can do it. I can do it. But I don't want to do it with all, all dogs. I think it's demeaning for some dogs to do it. But Victor has got the body type for some of it. Ah, oh, here we go. See, now this, would, this is what the old Kevlock would consider a big tussle, big power, going crazy. They're not hardly doing anything. Yeah, now, if uh, he gets involved, there might be a little speed moving. But these guys aren't hardly doing anything. They're trying to do the old go low. They're going for the legs. Going for the legs. They're just playing around. But Kev, the old Kevlock considers, oh, these are man stoppers, blah, blah. His sumos can't even do this, you know? Man, this is nothing. This is slow-mo nothing. Oh, here comes the Mastiff. Oh, they, they, they get going on tug. Pretty strongly. What, what do you want? What do you want, Akuma? Ah, there they are. And my super dog's like, what are we doing? What's like, this is not nothing difficult. Yeah, and uh, and uh, some of these dogs were well. He was considered Victor there. The mountain cur was considered. Couldn't get along with other dogs. He'd been returned to the pound three times. 
and he was supposed to have been killed before I got there, but I got there and I said, give me the dog. And they said, he doesn't get along with other dogs, he doesn't get along with small children. I said, who the hell does get along with small children? You know, and uh, anyway, so you can see, it's a process. I didn't, throw, I didn't throw all these guys in there together in the first minute. It was a process, but you can see that they all get along. Everybody gets along. And here we go. Now the old Kevlock would say, oh my God, look at these dogs are out of hell. They're just unbelievable. Now he's got a big mouth. Uh, I'm mean, seriously like an alligator sized mouth on him. And so the old Kevlock, take notes. This is what a Mastiff looks like. Now, uh, what's his face? He's got his, his jaw. What do you want there, my keys? So the, he would consider this, oh, such power, such whatever. My Mastiff is more powerful than his sumo dogs. And it's putting out more energy, too. And Victor's just playing. He likes, he gets along with other dogs. And he, well, he's a great dog. He is a great dog. And he's my best uh, everywhere recall. I mean, the super dog can do everything. But for a dog that I didn't have from a puppy, his recall is, is incredibly good. See, now this would be like, oh, Kevlock, oh, this is every day, folks. Uh, I can't handle it. It's out of, oh, there's so much power, so much energy being put out. Well, yeah, these guys are putting out more than his little sumo boys. And I got a lot more dogs here. And this, as we saw some of them, if I let Rex out here, they all worship him. I mean, just, I mean it's like he's like a rock star. He'll get mugged by him. I mean, I, I can do that. Let me do that. He won't feel sorry. Just to show yo Kevlock with a rock. What are you doing? Keys, what are you doing, baby? Why are you over there? What are you doing, Keys? Oh, such a good dog. Hey, okay. Sometimes they, they go a little far on the nibbles, you know. They're not trying to hurt each other, but they don't know their own strength. Everybody wants to train. That's why the, the pedestal's here. They get, yeah. All right, let me get Rex just for the... Okay, I just asked Rex to come out here. And you can see how these guys are all... The licking of the face is signs, showing signs of submission that he's the alpha dog, which he is. Even though he's nowhere near the biggest dog, but he's the coolest dog. But, yeah, he's getting... But they won't let him alone. That's why he's got his own room because they just keep licking him and bowing him. And he's got you know that slobber all over him. He's like, what do you? What am I? Why am I out here? Like, you know, Z was a puppy, of course. Z Zarathustra was a puppy, so he really worships him. And we got a little, we got a little action going on here. Yeah, the old Kevlock can't compete with this. I got dogs everywhere. And, I, and guess what? I got all these dogs in the same bed with me uh, at night. My head, and it's a twin bed. It's not, and it's damn small. Oh, here we go. We got some noise going on. Here we can see. You can see that how they all peace. And of course, really likes Rex. And see that? I mean, Z Z Zarathustra can't stop. Licking the ears is a sign of, of, of uh, submission. Uh, you heard that. Now, if I have a something for them to, uh, to, to tug on, then we'll hear some noise. But I don't know if I want to get that involved. Yep, the old Kevlock, you don't have this many. You don't have this many, and you don't have this many cool dogs and variations. Yeah, my super dog. Rex is like, why in the hell did you ask me to come out here? I, I mean, he, they do. They all, they all love him. And they all love him. They all respect. You see, his tail is never. He never has his tail. That doesn't matter who, what dog he meets. He doesn't start fights, but he will not back down from any fights ever. The guy was the leader of two different dog groups in Thailand. He had two groups that he was the leader of. One group was only out at night that he was the leader of. Another was, they were there 24 hours. 
He taught them how to go for the legs. They didn't know how to do that until, until Rex showed them. But here we go. See, oh, Kev, oh, it, oh, it's unbelievable, folks. Look at this. There's, there's hundreds of pounds of dog. To, hey, 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 that's too rough. Hey, that's too rough. Don't pull on. This guy's a nice guy. You can't bite his cheek and pull it. That's what was just going on there. Vic was pulling his cheek too hard. So, yeah, most people can't handle this many dogs. And this isn't everybody. This is just the ones I want in right now. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, Kevlock, this is uh, for you. Getting real tired of your, uh, of your, your weak, weak sumo doing that. See, here we go. So this is, I mean, this is, this will be all day if I don't get Rex away from Zarathustra because Zarathustra is like, oh, oh, you're the greatest, you're the greatest, you're the greatest, you're the greatest, you're the greatest. Oh, Rex, you're the greatest. Can I be like you? I want to be like you. Oh, my keys is like, what's going on? <laughs> Okay, okay, I don't like the cheek grabbing. I don't like that. I gotta do an interrupt. Disruption, stop! Yeah, okay, so anyway, Kevlock, there's a little little of what goes on around here at the old uh, top dog canine area. Rex, what are you doing? You wanna go outside? I think he does. I have to take him outside so I can get away from these guys. Yeah, we're already out. The jungle dog. Yeah, baby, I think you're not eating again right now, baby. All right. Okay. So there you go, Kevlock. Uh, uh, you only got an anteater and a chihuahua and a slinky. You know, and a slinky's a, a you're borrowing slinky. So don't, don't try to pass that off like you got three dogs. You don't. Know? You know. There's five right here. Five. Five dogs right here. Kev, I don't think you could handle it. And all different types. Dutch Shepherd, Jungle Dog, Southeast Asian, Pariah, Jungle Village Dog, Mastiff, Bulldog Mix, pretty certain. Mountain Cur mix with some mountain the Mountain Cur is not a Mountain Cur is like Alaskan Husky. They're they have a sort of a general body type, but the colors and stuff. Are different, but he's Brindle, uh, and very few American U.S. dogs are Brindle. And then, of course, Keys right there, the Siberian German Shepherd. Now, everybody from a distance, and she's a wolf. Now, her DNA is actually very. He's got more wolf DNA than she does, actually. So, even though she might look more like it from a distance. Oh, here we go again. Anyway, I gotta, I gotta do this. So that's, that's that. The old Kevlock.